everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I did kind of like a warm cranberry makeup look. I know this was more trendy in the fall, but I just recently got these eyeshadows, so this is the look that I came up with. First I'll be going in with the shade Glow, and I'll be using this as a base, and I'm applying it with a Real Techniques uh, eyeshadow brush. Then I'll be going in with this warm shade called Cornelius and I'll be putting that into my crease with a Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. For my lids, I'm going to use the shade Porter and it's a really nice deep burgundy kind of cranberry color and it has some gold and pink reflex in it. These are my first ColourPop eyeshadows and I'm absolutely in love with them. I'll definitely be purchasing more from them. They're so blendable and buildable and they're only $5. Also the colors that you see that I'm using are from the Kathleen Light Quads, um, where the light is and where the night is. Next I'll be going in with the shade Soft Brown by MAC and I'll be putting this into my crease as well just for, just for some extra depth. I'll be doing the exact same thing to my other eye. And now I'll just be building a little bit more color into the crease with the same Cornelius shade. And I'm using a Sigma blending brush. Now I'm going to conceal and highlight my face with Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer. Uh, this is the shade Light Warm. And I'll be blending that in with a Wet Beauty Blender. with Laura Mercier's translucent powder and I'm applying that with the same damp beauty blender. Now I'm going to fill in my brows with Anastasia's Brow Wiz. I'm in the shade Taupe but I'm starting to realize that this shade is too light. I've been using it for like almost six months now but I think I need to go get a darker color. I'm just afraid of getting those like dark angry mean brows. Um, they look good on other girls but they're not for me. Now 
I'm just going to conceal a little bit underneath just to give them a little bit more definition and to clean them up. And I'm just using that same uh, Urban Decay concealer. And now I'm just going to dust away that powder um, using a Real Techniques brush. Now I'm going to contour my nose, my cheeks, my jawline, and my forehead with Anastasia Powder Contour Kit, and I'm using a NARS Vita brush. Now I'm just going to buff that same cranberry color on my lower lash line. For this look, I'm doing winged liner. I'm using Maybelline's Eye Studio Liner in Black is Black and a MAC 263 brush. Now I'll be going in with the shade Nylon by MAC and I'll be putting that on my brow bone and on the inner corners of my eyes. I'll be putting on mascara. I'll be using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my top lashes and Benefits Roller Lash Mascara on my bottom lashes. Don't you hate when you spend so much time doing your makeup or you have to run out the door and you get mascara on your face, but it's okay, just let it dry for a minute and then just wipe it away with a Q-tip and it doesn't smudge and it's like it was never there. And also I'm using Clinique's Melon Pop Cheek Pop for blush. Highlight, I'm going to use Becca Declan Hills um, Champagne Pop. Then I'll just be carving my contour out a little bit by baking with that same translucent powder. You don't have to use fake eyelashes for this look, I think it looks good without it, but today I want to try these out. These are the Scarlet Lashes by Huda Beauty. Um, I haven't used them yet, so I was excited to try them. Now I'm just dusting away that powder with a Real, tech, Real Techniques brush. Now I'm just going to put some clear brow gel on my brows so they stay in place. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama. For lips, I'm going to use Max Night Moth Lip Pencil and then Liplands and Omrizi's Montenegro Liquid Lipstick. I hope I pronounced it right. I'm sorry if I didn't.
now I'm going to clean up any imperfections with that same Urban Decay concealer and a Real Techniques brush. And once I'm finished that, that'll be the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below your thoughts and if you have any requests, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.